hi everyone so i'm back with another video um today i'm not going to do a makeup video i'm actually going to be doing another um real talk type of video so um today i'm going to be talking about um is it always worth um, raising kids with both parents and I'm gonna talk I got a little card right here that I'm also looking at just in case y'all wondering what I'm looking at when I look over um I wrote down five topics that I personally experienced growing up with both of my parents and you know it could be like an informational type of video because I know growing up most people prefer prefer to raise their kids with both parents but sometimes it's not always it's not always what's best for the kids or the child so the first topic i got on here is first of all let me say this in no way form or fashion am i talking down on my parents or downgrading anything that they did for me and my sister um i appreciate both of my parents for what they did for me and my sister growing up and if i could go back i wouldn't change anything because it made me who i am today so i don't want anybody to feel bad about anything that i'm going to say in this video because i'm not talking bad about you at all whatsoever so please no attitudes on it okay so the first topic i wrote down was constantly fighting so my parents growing up my parents were married so i grew up with my mom and my dad in the household and my sister now my mom was married to my biological father but um, but me and my sister, we have two different daddies, so, but my dad raised her from, I think they said from 18 months on up, so he's pretty much, you know, her father. So, I'll, the first topic is constantly fighting. Um, my experience with this would be, I know my parents tried to keep it away from me and my sister, but kids notice things so i could always tell when my parents were into it or something because either they wasn't talking um they weren't talking they weren't we weren't spending time together as a family or we you know or they wasn't sleeping in the same room or something like that basically doing things separately so I feel like this is one thing that hinders raising kids together because that type of thing affects kids. I know it affected me because I'm always like, well, is it my fault why they are constantly fighting? I know it was a number of things that I personally know that I won't speak on, but it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot on me and my sister. But I can only speak for me right now. It was a lot because I didn't like feeling like we had to be separated or anything like that. I know it would be times where we would move out the house for a couple of months. And it would just be my dad at the house. Or it was times where my mom moved out by herself. And it would be me and my dad at the house. So it it kind it. Although it doesn't seem like it, but it did affect me uh, a good little amount. So, um, I said, topic number two is financial responsibilities. You know, when you're married, well, I'm not going to say you're supposed to, but I know when you're married, people say that the man is supposed to take care of everything, which I don't think is so. Like, right now, I'm not working, but it's by choice because my the way my husband is, is you can work or you don't have to work. It's up to you. I left my last job because of 
I didn't like some things that they were doing. So I've been out of work ever since. And I've just been focusing on the kids and the family in the house and my schooling. So I know how sometimes being the person that's financially responsible for everything can cause cause problems in the household. Like I told my husband that I t I've been off since July of 2018, but I told my husband that I'm finna go back to work because I see, I see how it affects him when he has to take her off the bills by himself and make sure we're good and everything all by himself. So I don't want that to be a problem in my relationship or in my family. Like my mom got a lot of health problems. So it was a lot of times where my dad was taking care of all the bills by himself. He was making sure everybody was good by himself. Making sure we had, true enough, we had food stamps, but it wasn't a amount that would feed the whole family for a full month. So he would still have to, you know, go out and get food and everything. True enough. When my mom was okay, she was working and everything. So I want, I'm not going to say that my daddy took care of everything by himself, the whole relationship. My mom helped out, you know, or worked when she could. So when she, when her health started going down here, then it was kind of hard for her to be able to work. And sometimes it puts a strain on relationship because financial responsibility on one person for a four-member four household is a lot. And... I know that's one responsibility I don't want my husband to have to have our whole relationship and we are a five member household. True enough he has two jobs but still I, I don't want that to be a hindrance to my relationship. Um topic number three. Staying together only for the kids. Now, my parents told me and my sister multiple multiple times that we were the only reason why they were staying together. So like once once my uh once I turned eighteen and got out of high school, my parents divorced like right afterwards. So they basically only stayed until the last child was grown and out of high school. And it was stated to us multiple times. It was it was said, you know, I don't feel like they I feel like you should not sacrifice your happiness for your kids. Now hold up before you say anything. Now I know us as parents do a lot of things for our kids that we don't want to or we feel like we have to, but your happiness is not something you should sacrifice. Like, I don't feel like you should stay in a relationship because of your kids. There are plenty parents that are separated, raising their kids, and everything is perfectly fine. Like if I, I told my husband if he got to the if he got to a point where no, nowhere near am I saying that we having problems in our marriage, but I told my husband if he got to the point where we weren't getting along, we couldn't like we didn't like each other, we couldn't stand being around each other. I'm not gonna sacrifice my happiness for you or my kids. We're gonna be separated, raising our kids, co-parenting, and being happy because. Whether people know it or not, because kids pick up on energy. So if they feel like you only doing this for them or you're not happy in a situation, they know about it. They might not say anything, but they know about it. Like, I felt that all the time when it came to my parents being married and us being in the, in the, in the same household. It, it was a lot. Um, favoritism. Now... I'm going to be honest about this because I know it's something that my sister, well, favoritism. Was there favoritism in my household as a child? I'm not going to sit here and say no because it was. Like, of course, my dad, uh, my mom was married to my biological dad. So, there was times where my sister felt like he um, treated me differently from my sister. And it was times where I felt like, you know, I was being treated differently. Simply because I was his daughter. Or th their kids. Like, 
it was some favoritism with my mom as well. So I'm not gonna sit here and lie and just say like it was just my my dad, but it was it was both of them. Um, you can't treat kids differently. You should have to, you should want to treat them equally so that they get the equal amount of love and the equal amount of respect. As I know it's hard. Like I have three kids, so it's kind of hard. You know, splitting my time up between all three of them. But seeing as though majority of the time I, my oldest son is gone because he goes to school. Whereas I'm at home with the two smaller ones. So I'm spending more time with those, with those two. But I also have to, you know, make sure I spend time with my oldest son as well. Because I don't want him to, like my husband is not his biological father. So I don't want my son growing up thinking like, Nobody loves me. Nobody cares about me. Um, I want him to get that equal amount of love. And I'm happy. I'm happy that my husband treats him the same way as he treats my two younger kids, which are his biological kids. I'm very happy about that. I can't not stress that enough because I always said that you're not going to treat my kids differently if I feel if I see that you're treating my kids differently, then we have a problem. If it continues to happen after me talking to you about it, then we're no longer going to be together because I want my kids to be treated equally. They all get the same amount of love. So no favoritism. I don't like that, especially when I felt like I grew up with it so I know how it feels. I know how I felt when it was happening, and I know how my sister felt when it was happening. Okay. The last topic I have is stress on kids. Um, it can be a lot of stress. I know I I probably didn't seem like it, but I, I did some things that when I was growing up that, that, you know, you could tell that there were problems. There were problems in the home now. I'm not going to say the whole, my whole childhood was bad because it wasn't at all. It was more good than bad, actually. But, you know, it can be a small percentage that can mess up a whole family. So, the stress-wise, um, kids kids know when you're not talking. Kids know when you don't want to be around each other, you know. And that, that type of stuff tends to stress kids out. Um, you got kids being bad in school. You got kids running away, talking back, being disrespectful. Um, you got kids running to other things that, you know, they shouldn't or wouldn't normally run to. Like, I'm going to say this. I'm going to be honest. Um, my oldest son, father, when I met him, I was 16, and he was, what, 20, 21. So, in no way should I have been in a relationship with this with this grown man, but I ended up being in a relationship with him. And after a month, I ended up being pregnant with my oldest son. So I think at the time when I met him, my parents were separated. Like me and my mom moved lived together and my dad lived by himself. So that that's kind of stressed me out because I love my daddy. So I used to always want to be around my dad, so it was kind of hard on me. I just, like, it's difficult, you know, when your parents not wanting to talk and other things, and you're in the middle of their situations. Um, so that, that, that stress, I'm not going to say it's my parents' fault because I had some part in it, too. That stress led me to be in a relationship with an older man that I knew I shouldn't have been with. Um, although I had my son in my last year, the first, no, the week before my 12th grade year began, I still graduated high school. So just when you have kids and you're married or you're in a relationship, think about your kids. Think about do would they want you to stay together and constantly fighting, showing favoritism, um, being sep oh, excuse me, being separated, or would they want you to be separated, co-parenting, and being happy? Don't sacrifice 
your happiness whatsoever. Think about your kids. Think about how they feel. Sit them down and talk to them and ask them how they feel about the situation. Let them give their input on what you guys should do because at the end of the day, you all are a family. It's not just you and your significant other. It's you, your significant other, and your kids. So their opinions matter. But that is all for the video today. I will be back with another video tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like my videos. And I have a surprise for you guys tomorrow. They're not going to be an upload, a video upload tomorrow, but there will be another surprise uploaded tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Bye.